Hi guys, it's GKCS. Today we'll be talking on expression trees. Uh, it's a data structure which helps you evaluate expressions. So this this problem actually was suggested by Harsh, and the reason I picked up uh, expression trees is because it took me a lot of time to understand how the the sports problem that we are talking about needs expression trees. So firstly, expression trees are data structures which are trees. So this tree is going to have two types of node values. One is operators and the second one is operands. Operands are people who have operations performed on them. So if we take an example of uh, a plus b plus the minimum of c comma d into e here a b c d and e are operands in an expression tree you'll always find them in the leaf nodes you will never find them somewhere up here okay secondly that means that the operators are always in non leaf nodes they are always uh, having children with them operators Operators are usually binary, which means A plus B, meaning there are two operands who you are performing an operation on, but they could be more. So uh, you can see min over here could have been on you know, min of P1, P2, P3, and all you can say min of an uh, entire array P. So variable number of uh, children that it's going to have. There could be, you never know how many children this min operator is going to have. Now let's talk about how we can make an expression tree. So for that we'll need an expression. Let's say we have a plus b into c. Simple expression. Uh, operators here are plus and into. What that means is that there are operators of different precedence. When I say precedence, it means that which operator is more important, which needs to be done first. So Usually, plus operation is given lesser precedence than the multiplication operation. Yeah, that's how maths works. Uh, also, plus has equal precedence to precedence uh, to the minus operator, and multiplication and division are the are given same precedence. Excuse me. Right. So the operator with the minimum precedence is checked for first in while making an expression tree. This is how we do it. Let's say we run through this string and we are looking for all operators equal to plus or, or minus. Plus or minus is okay. Not multiplication or division now because we are looking for lower precedence first. We come across this plus and we immediately break the string. How? We take the plus in between in the center root and then we take the left part of the string put it into the left subtree this is the left pointer then the right part of the string goes into the right subtree which is b into c this part all right now that we have this we actually want to call recursively the function to the child nodes so the left part of the subtree again has uh, the, the same thing done, but it's just an operand, so it's fine. A will be returned. The building the tree will stop here. On the right part, it is still an expression. So B into C will be evaluated. How? Well, into is the only operand here. So we search for plus first, we don't get it, we get into. And then we say, okay, left part of the subtree, right part of the subtree. This is what's going to happen. And the root itself is going to turn into just a multiplication sign. This is the expression tree for the given expression, a plus b into c. Now the way that we are going to evaluate this expression is by first going to the root and following a policy. So the policy is called 
लेफ्ट रूट राइट एंड आई जस्ट राइट पॉलिसी हियर लेफ्ट रूट राइट व्हिच मींस फर्स्ट गो टू द लेफ्ट सब सब चाइल्ड फर्स्ट गो टू द लेफ्ट चाइल्ड आई एम सॉरी देन गो टू द रूट एंड देन गो टू द राइट सो यू कैन कॉल रूट एज आर डैश evaluate the left child first then the root and then the right child how do we do this well first we come here we see that there's a plus plus cannot be evaluated so we'll be going down the tree till we hit operands that's how our expression tree is defined operands at the end leaf nodes so we come here to the left child we see that it's an operand that's great uh we return a here and now the root and the left child can be merged to give a plus this expression we are not sure about it because we are we have just gone to the right now we went to the root and now to the right to the right we see again we want to do left root right so not an operand well we can't return so we have to apply our policy we go to the left b b returns gives you into we go to the right c operand returns and this will be evaluated first so b into c will be evaluated first then a plus whatever the result is will be evaluated to give you this expression so essentially you can say that putting these brackets is what the computer does by itself it knows what to evaluate first and what not all right so the problem that we are talking about from spodge does something inverted what it says is that all right now so we are ready to solve the problem all right now so we are ready to solve the problem the problem is we have an expression uh, with a lot of brackets so this is an expression which could be rewritten as just a plus b plus c right because uh, the precedence is the same and actually removing the brackets doesn't make any difference to the string or to the expression actually so spodge asks us to make this string with minimum number of brackets but the order of the operations should not be changed so if there is let's say plus d into e yeah and well let's uh, put a p into this entire expression so it should be p into a plus b plus c plus d into e like it should not be p into a plus b plus c plus d into e because if you remove these brackets these two brackets that would mean that p into a will be evaluated not not the summation of these and then the multiplication of p with that so the the final result should not change essentially uh, but you should use the minimum number of brackets that's what spodge is asking us to do so here's what we do we make an expression tree out of this But d plus e is not making much sense. So I just remove that. We make an expression tree out of this using the knowledge that we have right now. Uh, find the operator with minimum precedence plus k. Yeah. So remember, we are looking for those operators with minimum precedence to break the tree. These are operators. All these are operators. Minimum precedence is for plus. So these three are candidates. But here's the thing. If something is in within brackets then you don't want to touch it now because you are not sure whether those brackets are required or not so what we do is we find the number of opening brackets and closing brackets up to this point if they are equal then you know that uh, everything th this expression is outside brackets basically if number of opening brackets and closing brackets are equal that would mean that uh, this expression is outside brackets all right 
what that also means is that you can break the expression tree uh, on those operators so first minimum precedence operator is plus we check for plus we get one here but we have two opening brackets till this point and no closing ones we get another one here but there's just two opening and one closing so this won't be used either at this point we have two opening and two closing so we can use this plus and we will important to always start with minimum precedence and also don't touch stuff inside brackets not yet at least so here's the expression tree plus on the right we have k and on the left we have this ginormous expression which is p into a plus b plus c all right now you know that we go recursively down this tree and try to break it into subparts again uh, we'll go to the left first of course right won't be evaluated further because it's just an operand on the left we come here we check for a plus without brackets which is not enclosed in brackets the none exist we then check for multiplication and we get it p into so then this is what our substring on the left and substring on the right this p here there's a plus b here plus c the entire thing in brackets and this is going to be replaced with just a multiplication sign right all right so we go to the left and we see that there's this p operand nothing to do go on the right here's the interesting part we check for plus we check for multiplication but none of them are in positions which are outside brackets so what we get to know from this is that the entire expression actually is inside brackets which doesn't make sense because why would you need to put brackets on the ends of the expression you know they will be evaluated anyways so what we do is we remove these that edge case where you don't find any operator with opening brackets not equal to closing brackets is when you remove brackets at the edges all right now evaluating this expression we do find a plus so this turns out to be a plus a plus b in brackets so that's this part of the string here and this part is just c and then rewriting you get a plus operator here all right the same thing happens to this expression also a plus b in brackets doesn't make sense so what we then do is remove those and get a plus b which is actually quite simple to rewrite it's just this plus operator here you have a on the left and b on the right right that is the expression tree that we are looking for uh what we now need to do is evaluate it and then put brackets wherever we feel uh, it's necessary so when do you feel that brackets would be necessary at all just in one scenario actually when you're moving from a lower precedence operator to a higher precedence operator all right and we know about this policy of left root right that is what we are going to be using that policy uh, we come on the the root we check for left which is an operator so we have to go down then we come on the left again and uh, p is what we have in our expression till now p go back root is evaluated into right here again the left root right principle go on the left again an operator go on the left a understand that this hasn't been evaluated yet we haven't merged these expressions in until now a plus b operate uh, operate yeah so just return you come here plus now was this plus 
greater than precedence uh, greater or equal to in precedence than this plus no it wasn't so we just uh, write plus just like that we don't put brackets plus c now we go back into is of greater precedence than plus so that's an issue you know we wanted to evaluate plus as far ahead in the top of the tree as possible but there is this operator which has higher precedence than the operator here which is lower in the tree so what we need to do is we need to put brackets here brackets in the entire expression whatever you have evaluated here gets brackets put on it and then we have p we also have plus now because this entire expression is evaluated this left sub tree is evaluated plus k because k is just the just the uh, yeah operand another small thing to notice is that what if you had another into here and a q here well then it would be q and then this entire right sub tree would be evaluated first so and when you know we would come back we would check these operators and see that they have different precedence higher precedence is over here so then we would put the entire thing in brackets and that is the solution to the problem so expression trees are data structures which help you evaluate expressions uh the the time that you actually use them is when you're parsing some sort of an expression whether it's removing brackets or uh, finding out expressions or uh, you know expressions within expressions so nested expressions um, that's when you could use this data structure i think javascript java most uh, most languages have this function of eval which takes an expression and evaluates the result this is the data structure that it uses there is another data structure that you could use using the stack data structure and in case you are able to solve the problem so i'll, I'll just write down the name complicated expressions if you use a stack and you are able to solve this problem uh that'll be great just comment below if you if you uh, have done it and in ca in fact if you can just please make a video on this because i am interested in understanding how we are going to solve this problem using stacks it should be possible because most expressions can be solved using stacks so thanks for watching i will be posting a video on some other data structure soon enough uh if you want any notification for that you can subscribe also if you have any suggestions or doubts for this data structure please put them in the comments below i'll be happy to help thanks